Nick Peterson here from livinglightly.com and tinywoodstove.com and super excited just got uh, my Hobbit small wood stove in the mail UPS brought it today fairly large box um, and it's pretty darn heavy I'm gonna tear into it and show you what's inside so there's four screws on the bottom that just remove the outside case and then the stove is actually bolted to a little piece of plywood which could maybe stand a, a little thicker um, I guess we'll see if anything's damaged as we tear into it uh, yeah let's unwrap it and unbolt it from the plywood so got it unwrapped here and got the bolts off this little bugger is pretty heavy and uh, on this stove I got the direct air option which allows you to pipe fresh air um, cold air into the stove so it's not drawing it from your space, making it all drafty. So I can't set it up until I get the feet on it. So I'm going to open it up, pull off the wood blocks, get the feet on it, stand it up. So got the, the inside components out. They were all packaged pretty darn well and, and packed in there. Each of the legs were individually wrapped, um, along with, with some of these, the baffle and the, the side components. So inside you had a um, little hot pad, uh, flu installation ring, feet. Then you have the ashtray with a little instruction manual, coal grate, mounting hardware, then a little uh, cheesy broom and, and shovel, then the, the multi-tool. So let's get these, uh, let's get this feet on and put it together. So got the uh, four legs on, <clears throat> came with four bolts and washers and then you just need a 13 millimeter wrench cinch it down it also came with which wasn't a part of the packing list but uh, some mounting screws on the bottom of the feet to secure it then also came with some little spacers and bolts longer bolts I'm not really sure what those are for again those weren't in the packing list so let's let's stand her up and see how she looks so there she is, got the flu collar installed. <clears throat> See, just takes two two little bolts and a 10 millimeter wrench, secure that baby down. And then you just assemble, put together the side air plates, back air plate, and then the baffle plate inside. And then uh, it's good to go. So that is the Hobbit, Salamander Hobbit stove unboxing. It's ready to install in the land yacht.